Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a quick reveal video to share with you all. As you can gather from the title, it is a faulty exchange rather than a new purchase. And what I'm talking about is the Louis Vuitton Victorine wallet. So if you've seen my previous video on best luxury compact wallets, I rave on about how much I absolutely love the Louis Vuitton Victorine wallet in the Damier Azure canvas that I had with the Rose Ballerine interior. After that video was filmed, I was putting all the wallets away and I've noticed a few issues with my particular Victorine wallet. And I'm going to insert some pictures of the issues that I'm gonna be talking about. And obviously I've already made the exchange, so I don't have the wallet in my possession. I can't really call it a faulty item because it does seem to be a bit of a wear and tear but I just didn't expect to see so much wear and tear so quickly. So pretty much what was wrong with it is that the glazing had started cracking already and I know with a lot of Louis Vuitton canvas pieces the glazing issue is a known issue with some items. So I checked my purchase date and I did purchase this particular wallet back in May of last year. So it had been about nine months since I purchased the wallet. So before waiting too long I thought if it needs to be fixed or whatever I should take it in straight away now so it is under the year because I think the warrant Tea is usually within the year with Louis Vuitton, correct me if I'm wrong. And I also noticed that the snap button with the Rose Ballerine cover on it had started to come off. And I know that even with that issue, if you want a replacement at no extra charge, usually you do need to take the item in within the year. So if you do have this wallet in your collection and having similar issues, I do recommend that you take it in and get it looked at before it's been too long. Then you just have a better chance of getting it fixed without incurring a charge on your Part. So I've decided to make this video to give you a bit of an insight as to what you can do if you do notice a few issues with your item and hopefully if you haven't had an experience like this it'll help you. So although I had bought the wallet nine months ago as you know I do have quite a few luxury wallets that I rotate between so I can say that I probably only used the wallet for about maybe two months or so when we started getting into summer here in Australia prior to that I was still using my Louis Vuitton Capucines compact wallet so that's why I was a little bit taken back that I've only used this wallet for about two months and for me to see this glazing issue and the start button wearing off already and I know these issues can arise with canvas pieces so I I didn't have a problem with that but I just thought it was a little bit too soon to experience this amount of wear and tear. So I took the wallet into Louis Vuitton and I spoke to a senior sales associate and he inspected the wallet and said to me it does seem to have worn a little bit too quickly and he's got exactly the same item in the store so he was happy to do a straight exchange for me but I was a little bit concerned that I didn't want the same issue to happen again to my new wallet then it just becomes a little bit too much of a hassle. So I asked him if it is possible for me to exchange it with a leather wallet in the same line because I just feel that the leather wallet will just wear better in the long run and he was very very helpful and said no worries as long as I pay the difference then I can pick a leather version and the reason why I did this was because I absolutely love the Victorine wallet and you guys all know that I think it is the most compact but functional wallet that you can get for the price in the luxury world out there at the moment I do still really love this wallet. So I wanted to show you what I ended up picking up. So I already opened it because I just really wanted to see the color in the natural lighting because sometimes in the LV stores, the light is very sort of orangey yellow. So sometimes it's a little bit hard to see the true color of the item. So I couldn't wait and opened it because I did exchange it last week. So it's more of a reveal, but as usual, it comes in this beautiful Louis Vuitton box and a dust bag as well and to show you my exchanged Victorine wallet are you ready it is a bold color so I ended up picking up the Victorine wallet in the emprunt leather in the color scarlet how beautiful is this piece 
I also showed you in the compact wallets video my very first luxury wallet which was a red Chanel lambskin small wallet and that wallet has seen better days so that wallet is just completely worn out so I was thinking I want to possibly add another red wallet in my collection so when this issue came about and the sales associate said he's happy to exchange it for something else I checked out all the different Omprant leather Victorine wallets and in store they had the black one and the navy navy one with the red glazing and they had this red one and as soon as I saw this one I thought it is a bit red but I do love red wallets and like I said in the previous video there is a Korean saying that red wallets bring money in so superstitious I know but I did want to pick up another red wallet so I thought this was a really good opportunity and this red color is actually really deep true blue turned red so I really really like this the color is actually coming up quite well on screen so this is very close to the true color and it is your Victorine wallet again. So the interior is exactly the same layout as the Demia Azure one that I showed you time and time again. So six credit card slots going vertically and you've got two slip pockets. So one in here and the other one is in there. And it's got a big bill compartment at the top there. So you don't have to fold any of your bills. So love that. That's one of the main reasons I absolutely love this compact wallet. And then there is the Louis Vuitton stamping there. It says Louis Vuitton Paris and it is made in France. And on this side of the wallet, there is the zipped compartment. And the textiles card is in there as well. So I think because this Omprat leather is just so soft and pliable, I really hope that the glazing will wear better. So when you even open it and close it, you can just feel how much softer it is compared to the canvas one. And so I'm hoping that there'll be less stress on the glazing over time. And the snap button is just the regular gold toned brass hardware. So it doesn't have any colored leather coating over it. So I won't have to worry about the colored coating coming off. So in terms of the price, the canvas version of the Victoria wallet retails for 675 Australian dollars at the moment in 2019 February and this wallet retails for 890 dollars in this Omprant leather so I had to pay a difference of 195 dollars when I exchanged the wallets but I absolutely think that it is worth it because the canvas version is already three quarters of the price of this full leather wallet and I really do believe that this will have a better longevity so that is the price difference if you were wondering so this is it this is what I picked up instead of the Demia Azure Victorine wallet so I'm going to start using this wallet and see how this wears and if there are any issues the sales associate kindly said to me just bring it back and let us know their customer service is usually really really good so I was really happy that I have that peace of mind to go back and address any issues and I think the key thing here is to bring your items in if you have any issues at the first chance that you get because the longer you leave it it's really hard for them to tell whether it's normal wear and tear or if it is abnormal wear so you just have a better chance if you bring it in earlier to have your problem solved a little bit better so let me know what you guys think of this wallet if you like the color if you think it's too bright because initially I thought it was a little bit bright but I love this red wallet so that is my new wallet so I'm happy to do an updated wear and tear after using it for a few months so stay tuned if you are interested in Omprant leather pieces from Louis Vuitton I will definitely update you guys on that so that is it for this video guys I hope you enjoyed it and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so we can be friends here thank you so much for watching this video and spending some of your precious time with me today and I can't wait to see you again soon in my next video bye guys One thing really, really do